Warning, you are about to hear a comparison between Microsoft's Appy 4 and Microsoft's Appy 3 text-to-speech voices. Differences are so minor that unless you pay attention closely it will be very difficult to understand what the differences in the Sappy 3 voices are. Paying close attention is strongly recommended. You have been warned. This is Microsoft Text-to-Speech System. It can convert any text into anyone's voice. The trainable feature is outstanding, compared with other systems out there. You have selected Microsoft Mary as the computer's default voice. Why? Okay, okay, okay. Now let's continue with the show, or else you'll bore the audience. And if you end up boring the audience, as opposed to getting on with the show, I will have to rip out your brains, as well as your electronics. This is Microsoft Text-to-Speech System. It can convert any text into anyone's voice. The trainable feature is outstanding, compared with other systems out there. You have selected Microsoft Melanie Granfers as the computer's default voice. Why? Okay, okay, okay. Now let's continue with the show, or else you'll bore the audience. And if you end up boring the audience, as opposed to getting on with the show, I will have to rip out your brains, as well as your electronics. This is Microsoft Text-to-Speech System. It can convert any text into anyone's voice. The trainable feature is outstanding, compared with other systems out there. You have selected Microsoft Mic as the computer's default voice. Why? Okay, okay, okay. Now let's continue with the show, or else you'll bore the audience. And if you end up boring the audience, as opposed to getting on with the show, I will have to rip out your brains, as well as your electronics. This is Microsoft Text-to-Speech System. It can convert any text into anyone's voice. The trainable feature is outstanding, compared with other systems out there. You have selected Microsoft Mark Lund as the computer's default voice. Why? Okay, okay, okay. Now let's continue with the show, or else you'll bore the audience. And if you end up boring the audience, as opposed to getting on with the show, I will have to rip out your brains, as well as your electronics. All right, so you're probably wondering these questions after hearing this. Why did you run the app in a Windows Millennium Edition virtual machine? Why did you preview the voices for longer than average time? Where did you get the names from? Sappy 3 is not compatible with the same install that Sappy 4 is located on, specifically with the Microsoft Sappy 4 voices installed. This will cause issues, due to the interface being remotely the same to the newer engine. The voices are so similar, which, as mentioned at the very beginning of this video, is very difficult to determine the differences without paying extreme close attention to the voices. The voice names are determined by the names in Balaboka. SAPI 4 overwrites SAPI 3 on the SAPI 3 engine, but does not remove the entries for SAPI 3 voices. To help fight that notion, here is footage of the voice drop-down menu with the SAPI 4 lexicon. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This is Microsoft Text-to-Speech System. It can convert any text into anyone's voice. Hey Mike, guess what? What? You stole my name during your early development, you lady. I do not talk like a lady. I did not steal your name either. You are the one with the lady's voice. I do not talk like a lady, you do. I do not talk like a lady, you do. I do not talk like a lady, you do. I do not talk like a lady, you do. I do not talk like a lady, you do. I do not talk like a lady, you do. Both of you can shut up right now. You both talk like ladies. 
No, I do not. Yes, you do. No, 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 no